Hello. This is HK Training Center. This is third time of nesting, manual nest. Move function is moving nested parts into other position or rotate. Also slightly move nested parts out of border to use sheet tightly to insert small part. To do this, input value and movement value to set moving distance each time and press all plus arrow key. I will show this now. You can not only move part by clicking but also rotate. It is also possible to move slightly by move function that I explained before. But with this function can move out of border so be careful. Next is copy. Click home and select advanced copy to select one of three functions of copy. First, window is copy selected part within window which made by click and drag. Second, multiple is normal type of copy which is copying selected part by each click. Lastly, Grid is copying part with designated vertical and horizontal direction. If trying to copy small part in large part with machining, then click copy with the part technology on sheet and copy with the part machining on sheet to copy part and machining together. I will show it in program. Explaining again from window copy. When click start and end point inside of sheet for making window to copy. If not, some of copied parts can be outside of sheet. Multiple copy is copying selected part by each click. It is only function that can be useful to copy not only current sheet but also same material and thickness. Lastly, grid copy is copying parts with select copy direction. Column is vertical, row is horizontal, and diagonal is copying parts as many as possible in both column and row. If you need specified numbers of column and row, Input values in horizontal and vertical copies. The horizontal offset and vertical offset settings must be absolute and contain values that include the size of the part plus the spacing between the parts to copy. window. 
multiple and grid copy to copy parts with machining together. Click both copy with the part technology on sheet and copy with the part machining on sheet. Until now you have learned about manual nesting. Next time, you will learn about unitary nesting. Thank you.